Hi everyone, this is Brian Hayes and welcome to another video in our series on classic sax solos. Today we look at the fantastic solo in the middle of Brian Ferry's Let's Stick Together. This was originally a tenor saxophone solo and played by the great Chris Mercer. Today we're on alto sax because I know a lot of you out there play the alto saxophone. So we're going to look at the tenor sax solo transposed for the alto sax. Now I'll put the music score up on the screen in a moment. There's only one note that's a little difficult in this solo and that's F sharp above high C. Now, since the late 60s and early 70s, most professional saxophones and high-end student and intermediate saxophones are equipped with what is called the high F-sharp key. It's situated down here. On my saxophone, it's a long rectangle. And what that lets us do is play our normal conventional high F above high C and with our third finger engage the high F-sharp key. If you have that key on your saxophone, I highly recommend that that's how you play the F sharp. If you don't have a high F sharp key, there are two alternate fingerings. One is to play the auxiliary high F, so octave key plus high C plus the key, the highest key on the left hand that you can hit. So it's above the B key. On my saxophone, it's a circular key. On many of the modern saxophones, it's more of a teardrop style key. So high C plus auxiliary high F plus side A sharp gives you an alternate F sharp above high C. Another common alternate fingering for F sharp above high C is the octave key plus the B key, the G key, the F key, the E key, and the D sharp key with your little finger. So that's a true altissimo fingering. However, remember, if your saxophone has been drilled with the extra hole in it, where I'm pointing to there with my finger, that's the F-sharp hole in, right up at the top of your saxophone, please use that as your default F-sharp fingering, as it'll be the most in tune, the easiest to play, and the best sounding. If you have a look at the music score on the screen now, you'll notice that the alto sax is in the key of F sharp major for Let's Stick Together. It was originally recorded in A major concert. So that's B for the tenor saxophone, but F sharp for the alto sax. F sharp is the key that has six sharps in it. Every note is sharped except the note B. Now there's some complex timing, there's a lot of staccato type tonguing, even though I haven't marked any staccato notes in this transcription. What I want you to do is listen to the way that Chris Mercer plays this solo without music, in other words it was just improvised, on the original Brian Ferry recording. If you go to YouTube, type in Let's Stick Together Brian Ferry original recording, at around about 1 minute 10 seconds in that video, you'll see Chris Mercer perform this great solo on tenor sax. So on the screen before you is an approximation to what Chris played in improvised mode in the original recording. There are accidentals throughout. You'll see A naturals, D naturals, E naturals. The high F sharp comes in the second last bar. And Chris used the growl on the tenor sax throughout his solo, turning it on and off. If you don't know how to play the growl on the saxophone, please check out my tutorial on the growl. It's the distortion effect on the saxophone. The original recording goes by at around about 120 beats Per minute. I'm going to play this solo for you now, and you can play along with me unaccompanied, but I'm going to set the metronome at 80 beats per minute. So you've got a better chance of reading those notes, finding them on your alto, and playing along with me. But remember, to play along with the original recording, you'll need to get your technique up to 120 beats per minute. There's the metronome at 80 beats per minute. After four, come in with me. One, two, three, four.
able to play along with me at 80 beats per minute? If yes, use your own metronome and take that up in steps of 10 beats per minute until you can comfortably play the solo at 120 beats per minute. When you think you've got it down pat at that speed, play along with me now with a backing band at the original speed of 120 beats per minute. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Chris Mercer's famous tenor sax solo on Let's Stick Together is one of the most heard saxophone solos in pop and rock. If you play the tenor saxophone, keep your eye out for another tutorial where I'll record the same solo and take you through it note by note on the tenor saxophone. That will put you in the key of B major five sharps and it will require you to enter the altissimo range to play B above high C just like Chris did in the original recording. Bye for now.